Hey, what's up guys? My name's Legacy FIFA and today we've got episode 2 of our player review series with this in, this time we've got Inform Musa Sissoko from Newcastle United um, in France, part of the French Revolution for Newcastle. Uh, 6 foot 1, uh, center attacking mid regularly, that's his normal card. Uh, he's right footed, he's got 2 star good moves, 2 star weak foot, high defensive work rate, and medium attacking work rate. So, um, I'm not going to go too in depth with the stats right now, but I will later on in the episode. So here is stats, most of all, um, definitely in the 70s and 80s were pretty high, and only two bad stats really, and that's 61 balance and 68 vision. But those don't really matter, in my opinion. Uh, but players with high vision do often pass better, I guess. Uh, they get to see the pitch more better, I don't know. But um, let's start off by talking to about his defense. So. He's got 75 marking, 72 slide tackle, 75 positioning, 82 slide standing tackle, and 80 interceptions. So he's very strong as well. I'm pretty sure he has 88 strength. Um, and then he's, uh, whenever it's a 50 50 ball, he's going to win it most of the time, unless you're up against Emnike uh, or Akifemo, of course. Which actually does happen quite a bit. But um, he's a pretty good defender. If you put him in a certain facet mid, I use him in a certain attacking mid personally. He, because I looked at his card first of all and I saw it said his best stats are either defending or dribbling. So you can either go defending or dribbling, so I decided to go dribbling. But um, if you do play a certain offensive mid, he does have some nice drip, uh, defending stats, like right here once again. I didn't get too many clips just because I was playing a certain attacking mid to roll. But there was uh, two, two nice clips and then there was a third one later on in the episode that turned into a drib uh, dribbling thing. But I'll probably include that, yeah. And um, um, so uh, for our, this first clip, we have him. He's in the bottom of your screen right now, tracking back, seeing Debucci get pulled in too much, and just uh, covering that player so he was unable to pass it to him. And the second clip, we also have him tackling Shirla. So just a nice little tackle from him. But that leads us to dribbling. And he's got 80 dribbling, 79 ball control, 70 long passing, 76 short passing, 88 acceleration, 88 sprint speed. Just to add those acceleration sprint speed since when he does have dribbling and he's got 80 dribbling, 79 ball control, so it's a really good ball control and dribbling. He's, he also has a speed dribbler trait, so you can dribble really fast down the wing if you play center attack, right center attack, right center attacking mid in 4 2 3 1 like I did. Or you can do a 3 5 2 and he just goes right through the middle with this great. Uh, speed and uh, dribbling. We also have some nice sh passing stats right in there as well. Um, most of the times in these dribbly dribbles, I end up passing the ball off at the end. I do have a lot of dribbling uh, clips, so I have to pick out ones that look good. Um, so uh, once again, very fast dribbler, um, strong as well. So he does doesn't get pushed off the ball too easily, unless you have a pacier player like Alaba or a left back or something like that. Even Marcel maybe, because um, during FIFA, if you are running the ball, it seems like your player gets slowed down a little bit more. But he's actually really good at dribbling. His base stat for the card is 78 dribbling, so that's joint best uh, stat with defending. But um, yeah, so if as a center attacking mid, you also need a good sh shooting as well. But he actually has some decent shot. He's got um, 77 shots, so that's actually pretty decent. 75 def penalties, 73 volleys, 79 curves, 70 heading, 81 finishing, 96 shot power, and 78 long shots. The 96 shot power and 78 long shots are the reason he's actually pretty good in start attacking mid. Um, in my opinion, because you can actually do some nice, really hard long shots and that the keeper will spill them maybe, and then your poacher goal, your poacher striker will grab that and finish it. We also have some nice volleys. I think he does score a volley in this uh, in this uh, what's this, in this episode. And he also has a nice heading and he does score a heading in this episode as well. 79 curve is alright if you have uh, if you're playing with left or attacking mid as uh, so you can finesse it with his right foot. And um, so that's about it. Uh, let's take a look at his pro uh, these goals I did have with him. I didn't have too many goals but this first goal was a nice little free roll from Muriel, and he actually does volley with his two-star weak foot, which is pretty good, considering it's only two-star weak foot. And 
you, right here you just nice little volley uh nice little lo long shot 96 shot power just showing it off and he's actually scores an header right here which doesn't happen too often and finally he does a nice little skill goal it's only two star weak foot two star skill moves a nice finishing right there placing it into the goal nice and easily with his actually some nice shot power as well but let's take a look at his pros he's very fast and great at dribbling uh, he's uh, very, has a very strong shot once again 96 shot power very consistent stats most of them are in the 80s and 9 well 80s and 70s <clears throat> he's very str strong as well 88 strength and six foot one as well. Uh, he's got a high defensive work rate, which is actually pretty good if you put him at the certain defensive mid. But as I was in a certain attacking mid, it wasn't the greatest. You'll see in the cons later. And he's a round good player. You can play him any position really. You can put him at certain defensive mid since he does have good defending. You can put him at certain mid because he has decent passing. You can even put him at striker with his shooting and his pace as well. Um, that also leads us to our uh, cons as well. Uh, he's it, I want to get a high defensive work rate if you play him instead of attacking mid because he gets sucked back too far, and that's the last one on the th on the pros. He does get sack sucked back too far when, especially when on counter attacks, he's too far back in the defense. So you won't you'll be you won't have your right center attacking mid if you are playing 4-2-3-1 up in attack with you. He also loses fitness quickly because he has medium attacking work rate, so he's going back and forth up the field all the time. And then finally. Um, I will I give him a 7.5 out of 10 just due to the fact that his it depends where you play him but I as a center attacking mid I didn't feel like he was doing the roles or a center attacking mid that I needed most of the time his shots weren't uh, going in right but and most of the time he did get the ball taken away a bit too easily from him from a long touch or something but yeah so that's the end of the episode guys so make sure to leave a like comment who you want to see in this player review series as well so thanks for watching, uh, please subscribe and have a good day, peace.